Here's everything I learned about using an air fryer. Only the top side gets toasted. Even with a perforated tray, the underside doesn't get anything. This means that if you were to do steaks or spam fries, you need to plan your time accordingly for a flip halfway through. Because of this, I wouldn't recommend doing crispy stuff in the air fryer. The imperfect contact makes things much more complicated than it should be. Which I guess you might like, since you're always overcomplicating things. Next, wash your air fryer often and gently. The non-stick surface makes washing very easy. But if you let gunk build up, you then have to scrub in order to remove the stains. And in the process, destroy the delicate non-stick surface. From that point on, everything sticks and builds on like unresolved trauma. The air fryer is also very efficient and consumes about half the amount of electricity and oven wood. Because of its smaller size, it also takes less time to come up to temperature. It costs roughly 30 cents to leave an air fryer on for an hour. So if you're going for food with a longer cooking time, like barbecue ribs, lasagna, or roasted garlic, the air fryer might be a good option. Speaking of recipes with a long cook time, give your air fryer 5 to 10 minutes to preheat to the intended temperature. A little foreplay goes a long way. This helps give a better gauge of the actual time your food spends under a certain temperature. You might be wondering, Eldrick, why are you telling us all this because air fry fridays are done times are tough views are low it's time to put the air fryer in the yester year thank you for watching and supporting the series